Okay. Guess what I got? Ooh. Ronsonol, also known as lighter fluid, also known as naphtha. Naphtha? Nahathpahatha. However you say it. I asked a lot of people. Well, I posted it in the pinball repair help group. And the majority said, this is what I need to clean the overspray off of the black hole. Either that or just keep growing out my fingernails. So that was another option. So I finally got this and now I'm going to apply it and see what happens. Okay, first I have dry enough hands as it is. So I'm going to throw on some gloves. And I really hope it doesn't stink too badly. Oh, I have a window right beside me. I actually have two. One. One over there on the left side. And I do have one over here too. I can already feel the breeze. All right, that's good. Okay, so if this doesn't work, then Houston, we will have a serious problem in space, in the black hole of space. Uh, okay, is there any instructions? Let's see. This will blow up if you ain't careful. First aid treatment. Uh, if swallowed, do not induce vomiting. Call poison control. If in eyes or skin, rinse well with water. Ooh. If breathed in, move person into fresh air. Holy shit. Okay, I'm going to get my safety glasses and my mask. All right. Got all the precautions. Maybe overkill, but it's weird. Like sometimes I'm so precautious, and well, not really. Most times I'm not, but sometimes I live dangerously. All right. Do I need to just? Uh, you can't get in there with your fingernail. I need a tool for that. One moment. COVID thing is happening to me. My uh, glasses are fogging up. That's dumb. Okay. There we go. I'll apply it to the cloth. Oh shit, it's coming. Oh, I feel like a bonfire could happen so easily with this stuff. I'm guessing it evaporates pretty quick though. Okay, here goes nothing. Mm -hmm. Am I moving the camera? No, I'm moving the whole, uh, what you call it, rotisserie. This is uh, not working. It's more working from my fingernails touching, or not my fingernails, but just the, the pressure itself. Not so much the chemical... Mmm, definitely smells. Let's try a little bit more. Shit, this is not good news if this doesn't work. Like, let's try on the pop bumper cap at least. It's our tougher plastic surface. Shit, that is not doing shit all. Okay, you know what? Someone else said Novus 2. I really don't have much faith in that, but one moment. Okay, Novus 2. If lighter fluid ain't gonna do it, then is Novus really gonna? Just a little dab here. 
and apply right here. Nope, not working. I mean, I could slather it on, but I just don't feel like it's doing really F all. Okay. Well, someone else said magic eraser, which I normally would have tried, but I have no hope in that, really. Okay, magic eraser, just wet the end of it. I mean, I probably should use magic eraser, <laughs> magic eraser, and rubbing alcohol. But let's just try this by itself and see what happens. It is not getting rid of the overspray. It is just getting it wet, I think. Let's see. You can definitely feel the difference when you're going over just the mylar versus the overspray. That is not working. Uh -uh. This is uh, okay. One last thing. Uh -oh. Let's get the rubbing alcohol again. I have tried rubbing alcohol already, but not with the magic eraser. Let's find a new spot over here. Let's see what happens. This is just on over top of mylar, so I can't really do any damage. Is that working? Hmm. Whoa. I think that actually worked. Holy shit. Maybe naphtha with um, magic eraser might also work. But if this works, I'd much rather work with this than naphtha, which is pretty harsh. Uh, I don't know, man. I think this is uh, it's the best results yet. Hmm, let's try on the pop bumper plastic. Hmm, doesn't seem to be so successful on the plastic, eh? A little bit, but. I can still see, like, and feel overspray, but... Okay. I feel like it's... Sort of working. But maybe not... Perfectly. Um, I am thinking, like... How long is it going to take to do this area? And then applying that times 50 to all the other areas. So, it's pretty good... Uh, what else did I want to try? Um, Goo Gone with Magic Eraser Combo. Okay, Goo Gone. Let's uh, find a new spot to work with here. And spray some Googie on there. Almost might not be such a bad idea to let that sit. I have tried this just with the cloth, not with Magic Eraser. So I use the middle of the Magic Eraser, which is kind of dry. I got the water on one side, rubbing alcohol on the other. And we'll go dry in the middle. See what happens here. Hmm. That, I would say, is nothing. Nothing happened over here. Huh. 
What do you know? Okay. Well, I think we have to try the naphtha and rubbing. I mean, sorry, naphtha and magic eraser combo now. I don't really like using this stuff because it's going to reek, but we have to try it. Let's just pour this shit right on. Feel like it's pouring very well. It's just kind of spilling. What the hell? Okay, let's close that up. It was there, and I'll just use. I don't care. Whatever side this was. Is this the rubbing alcohol side or the water side? Oh man. This is not. Promising, eh? I don't want to have to like spend two years doing this. Just hoping, like, if you press hard enough. But I think that's just more elbow grease than it is chemical help. I need chemical help. I don't want to be doing this just by elbow grease, that's for sure. Seemed like this area, maybe it was a light area over over spray. That's why it cleaned up nicely. So I'd say, rubbing alcohol and magic eraser appears to be the winner at the moment, but only because it's the lesser of all the evils. It's the least worst. Nothing was amazing. So, uh, I'm not really uh, content. I'm not content. Let's try one more shot of the what we think is the best combo. is the Magic Eraser with the rubbing alcohol. Find a new spot and try this again just to see in a new spot. So in between these two kind of good areas, We'll be able to see you plain and clear. Yeah. It's coming. Hmm. Boy, oh boy. To do the, the whole play field, though, like this. Could take uh, some serious, serious time, and I don't know that I want to spend that much time on elbow grease and rubbing alcohol. It does appear to come off the wood because here's where the mylar ends, and you can see the wood there, so the spray does seem to have come off. The overspray has kind of come off the wood area, actually. Hmm. That's a pretty good result. It's just... That could take a heck of a long time, but... I don't know. Why don't I spend 20 minutes... More. It's already been 20. See how far I get. And then, uh... Come back, and then we can deduce how long it could possibly take to deal with this. I'll spend 20 minutes and see what happens. Okay, I think I've been scrubbing away for probably half an hour to 45 minutes. And um, it is actually sort of coming along. I found that the magic eraser and rubbing alcohol seems to be the best combo. I even... Uh, Attempted my plastic razor again. Uh, I even tried some super clean. Tried everything. But uh, slowly but surely, it is actually getting better. And there is light at the end of the tunnel now. I mean, it is a long effing tunnel. But there's light. Just a tiniest little flicker. So. 
I think, you know, probably, we're gonna have to start removing posts. I was just working around shit, you know, to really get in there. I'm gonna have to start taking off all the posts and doing a final touch. But, I figure probably another few hours of scrubbing and messing around, I can actually have this play field cleaned. Um, and then I'll have to figure out what to do with the pop bumpers. Maybe they will come clean. Maybe it's time to buy an ultrasonic cleaner. Or maybe I'll just replace them all. You know, and if I replace them all, I can get rid of the mylar underneath easier. And uh, maybe kind of try and touch up the blues. But... Yeah, I wasn't really planning on having to rebuild for pup bumpers. Just because there's a little overspray on the edge, so maybe I'll just really try hard to get rid of the overspray. I haven't really thoroughly tried hard yet. Hey, what if I put like a buffer on my Dremel? Ooh, I want to try that. Okay, I've got like a thousand bits here. I did find some buffer type bits. I don't know, like I just pressure fit that on this thing here. I don't think that is correct though. Um, I don't know what the correct way to put the buffer tool on though. If I put the screw on, it's not going to do anything. It's not going to cause it to stay in there. So, I might have to uh, learn how to use this darn thing, but... I'm going to try this just for sort of a, a test of theory. Okay, well, probably should add a little bit of something. Uh, let's just go Goo Gone because it's the easiest to access right now. Probably, you know, something's better than nothing, right? Whoa! Spraying all over. Get some speed going. Whoa. What's happening? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I think I'm just making a big mess here. Okay, well, anyway, obviously I have several hours left to get this play field to where I want it to be. But at least there is light at the end of the black hole. 